G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up a, or replacing the display on a Lenovo TBX606F. This particular one has a damaged display, and I've already got the replacement screen here. I do believe it comes under the model number of, I believe it's M10 Plus, but I've got my replacement screen right here. And this was a bit easier than expected. So what I've done is have it on my blue heat pad at 75 degrees Celsius. And the whole thing's very hot to the touch. Because of that, prying it open is a fair bit easier. So I'm just slide this around the outer perimeter. And with the heat, it's making it a lot easier to open. I have gone around this once before, and it was a bit easier than I anticipated. So I thought I'll film it for you guys. So definitely heat it up if you can, with a hairdryer or a heat gun. It's going to make the job a lot easier to get into. With a bit of luck, we should be able to fold it forward and lift it up slightly, like so. And from there, we can access this connection here. So we'll take out the four screws for this. Now, if yours has a lot of glass that's shattered everywhere, you do want to be able to clean up the outer frame. So take off the existing screen and we'll clean it up from there. So if all the screws out, you should be able to use a pair of tweezers to flick that up. We want to disconnect this connection. And we will do also the battery. So hoping the battery connector would also be under the same one. Not quite. And also assume that the screws are of the same length, so it doesn't matter if you get them jumbled up. They look to be the same. So that one there. Flick it up. Caught it. Disconnect the battery. Disconnect the display. We're left with this. I'm going to put that aside for the minute. I'm going to focus on here just to check out the adhesive. So the top bit here is okay. Along the side, not so much. Disconnect there. Replace it down here. As there is still glass there, right there. So once you've cleaned that all up, got rid of the, shard, the shards of glass that may be living there. You definitely don't want any of those lingering because as soon as you go to put that new screen on, it's going to hit that glass. And glass doesn't compress, it just cracks. That will break a brand new screen, which will definitely suck. I'll move this out of the way. I'll grab the pre-existing display and the new one. And we're going to want to take this tape off here. Like so. Flip up the connector from the bottom and wiggle it out from there. And lift that up. It does seem to be slightly glued. There we go. One connector removed. Back to the side. Put this up here. Flick it up. And that I should be able to feed into that connection. And that's a matter of making sure that cable is connected. It's looking all right now. You see the line is almost right up. That there. Put on the blue anti-static tape. Oh, by blue, I mean yellow. <laughs> go. Put this back on here. If I can take this off, hopefully. No, it doesn't want to leave. So I'll leave that. We'll go back to this one. What I want to do is reconnect the screen. Just 
be able to bend it. It might not quite line up correctly. Okay, that one back up. You should just be able to kind of loosely get the connection over the top of it. When it's in the right spot, it should kind of lock up and you can push down and it clicks into position. There we go. That's just clicked in for me. Yeah. This goes back over the top. And three screws. So one. It's also probably worthwhile testing out the screen while it's in this position, rather than gluing it all down or sticking it down, finding out your screen doesn't work. Go there. Bend this out of the way. Connect that up. And this should kind of slot in. Go, cover goes back over. Should be right to test out the screen from there. What I'm going to do is shuffle that screen just out of the way. And I'll put some adhesive around the spots that have had the tape removed. Let's just be able to lift it up, twist it slightly, and just go around it. I'm just putting a relatively thin bead. Side. And same with down the bottom. with that I should just be able to line it up, sit it on, push it down, get a bit of a runoff of glue up here. There we go. Work my way around. I should just let that heat up and that should be fine. So that's how to replace the display on your Lenovo TBX 30, uh, 606F. Hope that helps and bye.